In this video, I got one simple thing we want to do. We got our new solar set up with the DC and AC hooked into the trailer. At least partially, if you saw the last video, you'll see that it's kind of just cobbled together at the moment. Um, we are going to run the air fryer and make dinner. And I'm going to see, basically, what the what the impact is on, on the battery bank and, uh, you know, all that stuff. Try to basically monitor the things while my wife does the cooking. Um, yeah, okay. So, just in case you haven't seen the previous ones, we got two 200 amp batteries. We got a uh, total of 400 amps. And let me get in here so you can see the screen on the solar charger. So on the solar charger... Yes, we're drawing in 1.8. It's towards the end of the day, so that's expected. Um, it says we're at 100%, I believe. That's a percent there. Yeah, 100% battery. And drawing almost in almost an amp. I don't know what that means. So this is the sol the um, air fryer that we're using. It's this uh, Bella Pro Series. I believe it draws 1,800 watts. The, the converter we have is a 2,000-watt uh, converter, um, or inverter, sorry. Um, so, yeah, so we're going to get this plugged in and uh, see what it does. So at the moment, the, um, we got the inverter under the, under the bed, and the bed lifts up. And right now it's a total mess, as you can see, because this is all kind of just hooked up temporarily. i got to run run these lines um, with the with the screen on here there we go so you can see we're currently not drawing any any amps any watts Oop, if I center the screen properly you can see that um, no amps no watts even though we're charging some things uh, it's just it's not picking it up because it's there's not enough draw basically. Um, so yeah, so we'll see what happens to this when we start the air fryer. Oh, and I forgot to mention. So this is basically it, uh, from the last video. So I got this uh, strip, this power strip hooked up, and it's just hooked in to the wires uh, directly. It's a little dark, so you can't see. Let me fix. It. There you go. Now you can see. So basically, yeah, I just got it hooked right into the wires. And, uh, yeah, that's temporary, so until I fix it. Okay, so we got, what do we got here? 61, oh, because the, okay, so the, this is now plugged in, as you can see. Um, let me get the lights are on. I'm going to get it. Let me see, this is, so this is basically resting. So zero watts, 62, I don't know what VA is. 0%. And now we're going to put this on to 380. Oop. Air well, air fry is 400. Oh, wow. Now let's put it at 20 minutes from now. We're going to go 3 minutes for a preheat. Um, and now let's see what this is pulling. 60 hertz. Yeah. So 83% output. Yeah. Okay. So it's using a lot of power. 1.65 kilowatts. 1.66 kilo VA volt amp. I'm not sure what that is. I'll have to look that up in the instructions. Volt amps. Huh. Anyway, that's doing that, and this is doing that, and I'm gonna go actually look at the solar charger, see what that reads out. Oh no, wait. Solar charger is not gonna read anything because the load isn't going through there load for the inverter goes directly to the battery so it will only know um, what the battery percentage is at once we look at that and I think actually is this I don't know if this ever has a percentage of the battery on it it's super annoying with it's beepy noise though yeah it doesn't have it okay so we'll check that once the uh, cook is done okay so a little bit of potentially bad news. So this, um, something happened. This was going along. You know, you can see it's only been a couple of minutes. For some reason, the timer is still where it used to be. But everything shut off. 
And I don't know why. It's clearly, it's close to the high end of its output, but it's still not there. The battery voltage just dropped to 12 and it turned off. Now it's going to turn back on. Fans on. Whoop, what'd you do? Putting it in? Okay. So battery's reading 12.9 volts. Which is interesting because it's actually much higher than that. I wonder if there's a bad connection. So she's, she's still working on getting it in there. No carrots? Not that I'm going for 15 minutes. Okay. Way too long. Now we're going to read this. 12.2 volts. The screen keeps turning off because it's on like a auto turn off thing. I think when that battery hits 12 volts, it's going to turn off again. Yep, hit 12 volts, it turned off. Just leave it. Are you putting the carrots in? Putting the carrots in? 12.2. So there's got to be something wrong, potentially with the connection. Where's my voltmeter? Okay, so I did some troubleshooting. Um, got my uh, meter here. I measured the voltage right, you know, for the for the two DC connections coming in right there, and it was reading 13. 13 is consistent with what the solar charger says it has, and um, it is not consistent with what this thing says it has. This says it has 12.3. Um, the output voltage was 120, standard home voltage is 110, so I modified that, and I noticed the, the power draw is much less, it's 68% now. The battery voltage is holding steady. It's pulling less, uh, I think this is less than before, 1.3, I think it was 1.6 before. Yeah, 109 volts. So, the default setting on this appears to have been causing problems. I don't know what the deal is with this 12.3 battery reading. I'm going to have to ask Renogy about that. But, it looks like we at least have this running now. It's doing its thing. May have been getting too much power before and you know, cooking hotter, uh, I don't know, I don't know what was, what the deal was. Um, but now this seems to be on, stable, doing its thing. So, that's good. The plot thickens. Um, okay, that's down to 12.3 again, that's interesting. So, this popped, the surge protector popped. Um, I wonder if there's too much power coming through the surge protector and that can't deal with it and it's doing something weird over here because when this popped a second ago I reset it and then this was reading 12.8 volts which sounds much more reasonable uh, for what the battery should actually be at right now so this thing may be the yep, popped again 12.8, I don't know if you can see that. 12.9, much more reasonable. Now we flip this back on, this will keep going. Okay, so that's gotta be the issue. So we're gonna, this will continue to be a problem for the rest of this cook, but whatever. 
and um, once I get this properly wired and, and this thing is no longer in the system, that should, it looks like will solve the problem. Yeah, that's really annoying. Okay, cool. Okay, so the meal is done. As you can see, cooked up the chicken. Uh, the taste one, they're pretty crispy. What other taste one? They're good? They're fine. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's good. Okay. Um, so yeah, this thing is being an issue. Turn it off. And we'll turn off the inverter. And eventually it'll off. Huh. There you go. Okay. And let me see what the battery percentage is. All right, so I just checked the battery, and we are about 89.7%, so basically um, 90%. So it took about 10% of our battery power to cook that meal with all the ons, offs, and whatnot. Probably cooked it for a little too long. Um, but yeah, we'll get that smoothed out. And it's like 10% 10, 10 of 400, so that's about 40 uh, amp hours for one meal with an 1,800-watt um, air fryer. Which, you know, it's not bad. Like, for for summertime, it's that's going to come back in a day. No problem. Especially tomorrow is going to be nice and sunny. So, yeah. So, that's that's that. And, uh, yeah, when I, get, I guess when I when I pull out that um, that surge protector and run it properly, then we'll give this another, another go. Yeah, thanks.